reading from the Gospel of Matthew. That same day Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. And great crowds gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat there. And the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they had not much soil, and immediately they sprang up, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell upon thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. Then the disciples came and said to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? And he answered them, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For to him who has will more be given, and he will have an abundance. But from him who has not, even what he has will be taken away. That is why I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. With them indeed is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which says, You shall indeed hear, but never understand. You shall indeed see, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and their ears are heavy of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest they should perceive with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn from me to heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Truly I say to you, Many prophets and righteous men longed to see what you see and did not see it, and to hear what you hear and did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in his heart. That is what was sown along the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures for a while. And when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately he falls away. And for what was sown among thorns, this is he who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the delight and riches choke the word, and it proves unfaithful. As for what was sown on good soil, this is he who hears the word and understands it. He indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. The Gospel of the Lord. Sunday's Gospel speaks in great depth of the Word of God and the importance of us taking time to listen to the Word of God, to listen to His voice, to His instruction, His teaching. But if we want to hear the Word of God, if we want to hold it and cherish it in our heart and see the fruits born, we have to be willing to be stewards of the seed that is sown. This beautiful parable of the sower and the seed it speaks of God's generosity. It speaks of a sower who, as he's going, spills the seeds all over the place. Certainly, you could say it's the uh, characteristic of a bad, bad sower, one who is not a good steward of the seeds. They go everywhere. And in some ways, the Lord does that with us. He gives himself so generously to us, pouring himself out. But we are not always receptive to his word, to his grace. You see, the Lord always reveals himself. 
We often complain of not seeing him or hearing him. The Lord speaks of that in the gospel. The problem is not the voice of God or his presence in our lives. We are the problem. We have ears, but we don't hear. We have eyes, but we do not see. And so, brothers and sisters, this weekend, through this gospel of the, the sower and the seeds, I invite you all to take into consideration the relationship that we you have with the Lord through the Word of God, through the Bible. How much time do you dedicate to sacred scripture each week? Now, if you're listening to this, that's once a week. Good. But what do you do the other days of the week? I invite you to pick up your Bible every single day and read it, even if it's just a few verses. But open the Word of God, open the Bible every day so that those seeds may continue to be sown in your heart and that in due time, the Word of God, those seeds sown in your heart may bear fruit.